Hi YouTube, hope you guys are doing wonderful. Instead of fantastic, I'm switching it up. Um, so I went to a homeopath um, in regards to my vitiligo, which is that skin condition where your melanocytes or melanocytes or whatever is um, die. So basically your skin can't produce your um, color anymore. So you're more prone to have skin cancer, all this other stuff. But they believe it's a autoimmune disease linked to hypothyroidism. And I've been having problems with my thyroid for about like two years now. I got kicked out of a doctor's office, all this other stuff. I tried... Um, wearing a copper bracelet and taking ginkgo biloba, and it actually started to fill in my patches, which was wonderful. So anyways, I still wanted to get my thyroid fixed because I saw vitiligo as a byproduct or symptom of some thyroid issue. Anyways, so I got all these tests done, everything's normal, you know, stuff like that, and it kept getting blown off by the doctor, so that was really upsetting. Finally, I gave in, and I went to a homeopath who was fantastic. Uh, expensive because it wasn't covered by insurance. It was like 300 bucks, um, usually 400 bucks to give us like a discount for some reason, which is really nice. And so we went into the appointment and basically he drew out a whole diagram about the thyroid and how my hormonal birth control pills were actually causing the problem. And I'm like, mm, I don't know. I don't believe this. He's probably telling me gluten is a problem too and all this other stuff jokingly. I mean, I'm sure gluten's bad, but everything I love is gluten in it. So it's very frustrating. Anyways, so he drew a diagram and it started to make sense. And basically after I got all my blood tests done and blood work done and had all my hormones tested, he was the first doctor to ever test any of my hormone levels, everything came together and it made perfect sense. Basically, your thyroid is affected by estrogen and progesterone, I believe. Um, so when you're taking like a birth control pill, like I was on Seasonal or Seasonique or Jolessa, it's the one where you have your period every three months or whatever. Um you become estrogen dominant and somehow these hormones affect the production of the T1, T2, T3, T4 and all that and the conversion of it so that your thyroid can function properly. So when you're estrogen dominant, it prohibits this from functioning correctly. So in my most recent blood test, uh, my T4 was high and that was the total T4, which he said was okay supposedly, but I don't know. Anyways, all, every single one of my hormones was at abnormal levels. And so I was looking at the reference thing and uh, I look over and like my progesterone, my testosterone, like all these other crazy things were at either pregnancy levels, like below pregnancy levels or at post menopausal levels, like 56 year old lady. And that's like what I feel like. So it's really interesting every single day like I could sleep all day and for the past two years I've been feeling like what pregnancy feels like we're just exhausted all the time and just no energy so I'm going off of that and not having hormones or anything like that and so I'm gonna see how that goes I'm gonna make another appointment and see if I can find a way to help balance my hormones in between um, coming off this uh, hormonal birth control pill because um, sometimes it takes like a year to get balanced out and some people are like, I have really bad acne and all these other interesting things after going off the pill. So hopefully something good will come from this and that my thyroid will be restored to a good working balanced um, thing. So not really sure, but I just wanted to share my story on my road to recovery and fixing myself and... Um, it's really interesting how powerful and um, effective like hormones can really be and think about all the hormones we have in our milk and like all these dairy products and stuff like that too and that does affect people you know the kids are having their periods at like seven eight years old nowadays which is crazy um, so it's just interesting to think about but so I will keep you guys updated on that so I still have my patches they're not as bad as they used to be but they're still there the ones left on my face or whatever so that's good so I'm still taking copper and ginkgo biloba but I forgot to start taking the ginkgo biloba after I ran out, so and I was too lazy and just forgot to buy some more. So my mom uh, was nice enough and got me a whole thing of bottle of uh, ginkgo biloba. So I'll be back on that, and hopefully this will clear up and go away. So I'll keep you guys posted, and I hope everyone is doing wonderful. And I will talk to you guys soon. Happy Labor Day! Bye bye.